Hi guys, Tamian here, and I'm bringing you a brand new video. This is Minecraft 1.10 Snapshot 16W20A. Now, I am not actually showing off the snapshot. I'm just showing off something from the snapshot. And this is structure blocks. So, in order to get a structure block, you have to type slash give. You do at p, you do tab Minecraft structure block there there we go so just click enter and it's this guy now this is pretty cool I'm gonna show you a little bit how to use this now it says data right now because it's on the D when we go into it we right click to go into it uh, if we go through this it gives us different stuff I'm going to show you a little bit what it does so let us I'll break this really quick so let's say this is basically a copying machine. So let's say we get this. Uh, make a sh let's we make this okay. So after we do that, I'm gonna place this right there, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna go to structure. No, I'm gonna go to corner mode. Okay. So I'm gonna give this a name. I'll just say. Uh, uh, D <laughs> very simple name D all right so I'm gonna place it right there and you can see it's at this top corner right here for this block now I'm gonna place this one oops I'm gonna place that right there and I'm also gonna change it to the corner mode I'm gonna say D all right and now I'm gonna place this block down and we're gonna say we want to find the structure D and we're going to do detect and it detected it so since we've got the corner of this and the corner of this it's uh it's found our like the the size of it so it's going to capture everything within this two by two and then I'm going to just do save after it saves it I can come over here, place this down, actually, I'm going to place this down, I'm going to go to load, now I'm going to type in the structure name, we just called it D, I'm going to say load, it's going to place it right here, but maybe I want to place it someplace else, so I'm going to move this a little bit, so I'm going to say, uh, I'll say two, okay and we're gonna move right there so uh, once I like the position of it I'm just gonna click this again I'm gonna click load and it copies it it copies it so it's a cool little copying machine now I'm gonna show you different uses for it uh, you could actually use this to copy pretty big structures you can only go up to like 32 by 32 by 32 um I tried to go bigger but it really doesn't copy that well um, you can copy you can copy air and uh, you yeah, see this this is what I did so I I took this block and basically so I didn't I didn't set any uh, I didn't have to set up two blocks for corners I just took the structure block and I just named it blank and then I just set in the coordinates. So for the structure side size, I put 32 by 32 by 32. Then I did save. And then, so it's called blank. So then I took blank and I placed it down. I'll show you how I did it. And you create like massive, massive uh, trenches or just like holes. This is what I did with it. All right, so if I place this down and go to load, I'm going to go to load. Now, if I go type in, I think I called it, yeah, I called that one blank. So if I say load, it's going to load and show me, like, where, where it's at. Now, I can also change this by, I think that one was, like, mirroring, and then this... Or maybe this is mirroring. 
I don't know what it does. It does different things. Uh, you can see I now changed the position of that. I can actually take this and actually let me just go back to this. Um, so done. Now let's say I want to clear out a bunch of this stuff right here. So I can just say load, and it chopped down it. <laughs> it, it looks like a bunch of trees got chopped down. Actually, I want to go way lower, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say minus 32. Done. All right. Now you can see it's in the ground. So now I'm gonna say load. And ta-da. We just we took the air block that or the air bounds that we had, and we can make deep caves with it or whatever you want now the way I did that let me show you so what I said was places down I say I want a structure so I'm going to say we'll call structure a box so we're going to take this box and we're going to give it a size of I'll say five by five by five Five. Done. Now I'm capturing just air right now. So let me say, oh yeah, and it's not gonna capture this yet. I have to say save. So now it says structure saved as box. So now if I place this down and I say go to load, I do box. We say load, and it's putting it right here. I want to move it a little bit. Um, that uh no there we go that's fine actually i'm gonna move it a little bit there we go and i'll move it down a little bit we'll say five no it's five up minus five uh let's say minus four there we go now i'm gonna load it now we have this hole here now the cool thing about this is, is if I want, let's say I put a diamond there. Now, I'm going to have to save this again. And then if I say load again, we got a diamond down there. So it's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure there's a way you could set this up so that uh, you can use, let me get rid of this. You could use like the command blocks to do some cool things. I saw somebody made like a mirror, so it was like, it was like mirroring this image every time you like placed a block or something, which was kind of cool. So, yeah, like let's say you have a house or something that's within a 32 by 32 or something like that. You can actually copy it and keep pasting it, which is pretty sweet. And the, let's see, the data block, I'm not really for sure what this does. It says... It says custom data tag name, game logic marker. So I don't know exactly what that does, but somebody else probably has a tutorial. But yeah, anyways, remember. So let's say I want a copper dish, so I'm going to do this again. Let's say, ooh, you know what? I don't even have to. Well, yeah, I'll do it just for demonstrating purposes. I'm going to change this to corner. Uh, corner mode, we'll say farm done and then I'm gonna go over here and let's say uh, yeah right here I'm gonna place this and we'll say say farm because it has to be the same name as the other corner so after I do that I'll just place this down we're gonna change it to the uh, Save mode, detect, oops, I didn't put in the name. So we've got to put farm. I say detect, and it detected it. So here we go. So now we know this is what we're getting copied. But now, the only thing with this is, is I think I need to bring this down one more. Let's say farm. Change the name first. Uh, here we have structure name. Ah, farm. All right now let's uh let's detect it again 
All right, now we're getting the other blocks. So let me save this and bring it over here. And let's load it in. So say farm. Say load. And it's gonna it's gonna load it right here. That's fine. So let's just load it. And you see? It loaded that. So we copied it. And that's under there. Uh you can uh if you paste it a certain way, you can just lose that block, so you have to place another one. But it doesn't matter. You can do that, so it's pretty cool. So that's that's how you use that. Um, I I didn't even actually have to use the corner blocks, uh, it, but it makes things a little easier. Otherwise, you just have to put in the coordinates yourself, so or like the size of this. So that's how you use that. So it's pretty cool. You, I'm pretty sure people are gonna find a lot of cool uses for this, and it could save a lot of time with uh, digging out stuff or just making stuff so yeah and there's another block it's called do slash does it give and then it's called structure void and this is what it looks like it's it's invisible so I don't know if we're like I can't stand on it so not exactly for sure how you use this. It might be something to use with this, but yeah. Another thing you can do is you can also copy entities. So like this horse, if I place this down right there, let's say horse, get attached. Now, if I go down, if I go over to here, I can say detect again, and I'm gonna say include entities on click done now if I go over here and say include entities load oh wait a minute yeah I saved it um oh detect there we go save now let's go load there we go. I guess the lead breaks, but you can see if you had animals, you could actually copy the animals as well. So, or mobs, whatever. So yeah, another thing is also with, with setting up like where you want to place the stuff. It also gives you, you could change the I think the way it rotates or something. So, yeah, you can you can mess with that. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please uh please feel free to subscribe and share this video if you did enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next video. And please leave a like cuz it helps me out a lot. So, I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.